For gas stoichiometry, what you need to deal with is your regular old stoichiometry, but there's a couple of conversion factors that you get to use. First of all, if your conditions don't change, so if pressure and temperature stay the same throughout a reaction, and it doesn't matter if that temperature and pressure are at STP or if they're at you know, regular lab conditions or if they're at, you know, the conditions on the moon or something. It doesn't matter. Just as long as the conditions stay constant, then you can use coefficients as volume ratios. So just like, um, let's, okay, let's do the example of we are form, forming water, water vapor, of course. So here is the balanced reaction for the production of water from its constituent elements. And if we were able to get this reaction to happen at a constant temperature and a constant pressure, then we could say that, you know, normally we would say, two moles of hydrogen will give you two moles of water but if the conditions stay the same then we could also say two liters of hydrogen will give you two liters of water vapor and again all of these are all they're all gases just to clarify that and so you could set up a a stoichiometric conversion factor where you have two liters of H2 over two liters of H2O. And just like with mole ratios, if the numbers are the same, then of course these guys would reduce or simplify down to a one and a one. Uh, but this can only be done if all of the conditions stay the same. So if temperature and pressure are constant you can do this. Now, what if we don't know that temperature and pressure stay constant, but we do know the condition around one gas? Well, if we know that our gas is at STP, and that would be standard temperature and pressure of one atmosphere, and zero degrees Celsius, or you could say 273 Kelvin. If we know the gas is at STP, then we know that one mole of that gas is going to have a volume of 22.4, my tunes are getting a little messed up, 22.4 liters. And so we can use that as a conversion factor and say that one mole of any gas, it doesn't matter what the gas is, is equal to 22.4 liters and so use it as a conversion factor there. Otherwise you might end up having to stick, you know, if you don't know that the conditions are staying the same or you don't know that you are at STP, you might have to do some combination of the ideal gas law of Pivnert and stoichiometry.